Well, my gaskets came in yesterday, so I can put this compressor back together. The only thing that wasn't in the gasket kit is O-rings for this surface right here. There's probably different versions of this compressor. Maybe they don't all use O-rings. This one came with this kind of gaskets. It only came with two of them, so I'm going to use them here. What I'm going to do, this O-ring seems pretty soft still. I'm going to try reusing it. If it doesn't seal, the worst that's going to happen is I'll have to take out two bolts right here to get it out and disconnect this line and find an O-ring that will fit it or try one of these that's close. This does have an updated version of the main head gasket, which is what this blue. This main head gasket in this one is steel, well steel, metal. The other one was just a paper gasket. And of course it blew right in here between the high pressure sides of the high cylinder. So this gasket should last quite a bit longer. I've got everything cleaned up. I'm ready to put it back together. Let's see what happens. Alright, no rust. Originally when I took this thing apart, the gasket on top was paper. This is a metal gasket, so I don't think I'm going to copper coat it as I had originally planned. This gasket should hold just fine without it. I may use copper coat on the lower two gaskets because they're still paper gaskets. This one should do alright the way it is. All right, everything's fairly well cleaned up and relying on uh, fully portable compressed air to uh, blow a little bit of dust off it from the towels. The reed bells will just lay in this one and they'll stay in there without falling out. This one, the reed bells will be upside down. So I'm going to take a short piece of elastic cord and tie the reed valve up into place so it doesn't fall out while I try to put it together. It doesn't get out of line and end up pinched in the gasket. We'll see how that works. Oh, that one didn't stay tight. Never throw anything away. Anyway, this is the same size thread as the head bolts. I'm going to cut the heads off these and use them as alignment pins. These were out of a piece of exercise equipment that I found sitting beside the road. I grab all that stuff to use the metal and stuff out of. For those of you who haven't seen my mildly modified portaband saw in action,
As you can see, I decided to use copper coat. That one's on. Good job. Glued myself to the gasket. These are the ones that stay in with uh, gravity, we hope. Now here comes the tricky part. I hope I can get these out. I felt like it felt like it went into place. Everything's lined up. If none of the reed valves fell out, I'm good to go. I put just a tiny bit of anesthesia on the threads. Clean most of the, ex the excess off. Hopefully not so much for me. Hopefully for the next guy that has to tear this compressor apart in 25 years. Uh -huh. Well, studs aren't long enough. I have to take the head back up these studs out. Damn it. So this, if I don't move it too much, as it goes down, hey, I have three hands. <laughs> Thanks, Tyler. You're welcome. Sometimes you need a third hand. All right.
and that's the 350 that they were originally torqued to from my marking and stuff so that feels pretty good to me I think that'll hold like I said before I'm going to try reusing this o-ring it'll be pretty easy to change it out if it doesn't leak Put a little bit of silicone on these to hold them in place while I get the bolts in. All right, well, I've got the whole thing back together. Power's on. Now the moment of truth. As long as the head gasket holds and it makes it past, uh, I guess it was 80 that it cut off at. Let's see what happens. It'll probably fill up a lot faster since I closed the valve on the inside of the shop where I bled the air out of the tank. And a little preliminary testing of the shroud to get air to blow over the top of it. Pretty happy with that. I'd have to call that a success. Thanks for watching.